Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. US 30 there suffering a bit of a tumble yesterday as most Asian markets did overnight. Uh, very late on in the session to get quite close to 16,738 as the first Ebola case news obviously in the US began to filter through Hong Kong protests, attacks in Baghdad. I think it was after, after a period of time people are just a little bit more cautious now obviously coming to non-farm payrolls as well. Um, and things have come off uh, right across the board. So we've, we've seen the dollar reverse course, lots of yen buying, a bit of gold buying. Um, crude West Texas obviously still just dropping, having absolute torrid time. And uh, most global equity markets looking a little bit sorry for themselves this morning. So um, 16,738 is the potential support level to look at there on the US 30. UK 100 looks a bit horrible. Uh, 6519 is going to be the potential support level. And we're at the bottom of the range. Technicals are turning quite bearish now. Next potential support will be 64, 63. Um, quite a steep sell-off. Uh, and looking at the historical ranges, we do get this kind of, these kind of waves formations before. We've been very top-heavy after recently being at all-time highs to, you know, very quickly come back down so 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 hard. So um, certainly there are people who will be looking at these core levels uh, at 63, 63. Uh, sorry, 64, 63, and 63, 90 as next potential support level should that sell-off continue. Japan, 225, got smashed last night. Um, dollar yen reverse course quite quite staunchly. I went from 110 down to 108, spot 60. Um, and it has been a public holiday, obviously, in Chinese markets. Uh, but the Japan 225, it needed to come off a little bit incidentally because we did have this big uptrend. But you can see how, how aggressive that sell-off has been, smashing through the 21 period SMA and the 55 period SMA on its way down to next potential support, 15488, should that level uh, continue to be pressurized. And dollar yen is trying to uh, rebound this morning, but um, it's probably needing to take some of that steam um, off there because it has such a massive um, move to the upside. Let me just switch on to my daily interval there for a second. Um, and and you, you can see the, the sell off, lots of volatilities. We were a little bit lower actually, we were in about 108.55. Um, and we're trying to have a bit of consolidation around here. Historically, we've seen it over the last couple of sessions, but uh, it'll be interesting to see if that, if that continues on. Obviously, the fundamentals haven't dramatically changed for dollar positive. Uh, Euro weakness, yen weakness, lots of monetary policy um, changes made in uh, Japan and Eurozone to support those economies, which aren't doing as well as the US. Um, so I, I, I wouldn't think this would be like a long term change in direction, but just be very wary of any volatility for any people who are bullish dollar yen. So crude oil West Texas broken through 91.28. That range is over. <laughs> uh, looking at $89 now as the next potential support as global demand looks to be dampened longer term. Um, the usual stories we've talked about through this, but this is a technical breakout. $89 is the next potential support level. So gold, I wouldn't get too excited to buy any kind of rebound on here. There is a little bit of safe haven buying today, but it's nothing super exciting. Uh, 1218 is the potential uh, resistance, uh, which was broken support. This is the strategic level. Uh, I'm not a massive fan of gold right now. Uh, there's not really a huge amount of direction. There's much better things to look at. So Euro dollar uh, had a bit of a reversal of, for of fortunes, smash, uh, kind of blinding back up to 126.63. Uh, that is potential resistance. It's been pushed right back down again. The Euro dollar fundamentals have not changed one iota, albeit the trend is obviously quite aggressive. There will be bouts of profit taking. Just be careful because it will be volatile. Um, I can see that from the client sentiment aspects, many clients are obviously short Euro dollar. Um, but you are going to get these spikes up high. Just be aware of the technical levels and the fundamental uh, releases. And we do have some uh, bits of data coming out today as well. So moving on to GBP USD to finish things off. Uh, one spot 62.65 is the potential resistance. We've been bouncing across the last four sessions. Today's no different. Longer term potential support, one spot 60.09. Um, so economic data wise, um, we do have uh, interest rate announcements from the Eurozone. That's probably not going to be that that different. People are going to be wanting to see uh, Mario Draghi's uh, press conference today um, to hear what he has to say because I think we, everybody's all expecting there's going to be um, QE. Uh, they're going to cut rates at some point. They're going to be looking at his rhetoric, and that's going to have a big impact on euro dollar, depending if he's bullish or bearish. And bear in mind, you do also have U.S. jobless claims uh, due out today as well, which will be keenly watched. Um, 
by a lot of guys who are trading cable and euro dollar. Fast forwarding on to Friday, obviously it's non-farm payrolls day. Make sure you've got all your alerts set on there. I've got all my reoccurring alerts set on there. Uh, reoccurring alerts allow you to set it once and it will always go off every other time in the future. It's a great new feature of the market calendar. Keep buying the chart form as always. Make insights part of your layout and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.